so I have the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic and I'll be taking you through the process of setting this watch up for the first time. So I just took this out of the box and let's go ahead and switch it on for the first time. So we're going to use this button here, this long press on that button to switch on the watch. As soon as you see the Samsung logo, let go of the button and allow the watch to boot. Now, in case it does not boot when you press that button, you might want to connect it to the charger with a cable that came in the box. So after you boot for the first time, you'll have the option to select your language. Okay. Now I'll just select English for me. You could use any language you want and then confirm by tapping on the check mark. Then it's going to ask you for your country or region. So let's go ahead and select our country and then tap on restart. So the watch is now restarting with the settings of your specific region. So you'll see a welcome screen and this particular screen. Okay. So what you want to do now is go to your phone, your Samsung phone, and then go to the Galaxy Watch, uh, Galaxy Wearable app. Now, sometimes your phone will ad uh, automatically identify the watch and ask you to connect. If that does not happen, then you can go to the Galaxy wearable application. If you don't have it on your Samsung watch, then you can always go to the Play Store and search for Galaxy wearable. This app right here, just go ahead and install it. Okay. In fact, mine requires an update. So I'll just go ahead and update it. So let's go ahead and launch the Galaxy wearable app now. And tap on continue. It's going to ask if you want to allow it to find and connect to uh, and determine the relative position of nearby devices. Just tap on allow. And then it's going to automatically detect your watch. Okay, and then you'll see corresponding uh, codes on the watch and on the phone. So what you need to do now is tap on confirm and the check mark on the watch, which is actually vibrating right now. So tap on that check mark and tap on connect and allow the watch and the phone to pair. Now, once those are paired, your watch will tell you to check your phone to complete setup. So at this point, you're done with the watch and you'll have to finish the setup process on the phone. So hands-free setting may have changed, Bluetooth mic settings and all that, just tap OK. And currently it's downloading the watch software. So be patient. It's 173 MB, so it, it won't take that long. So once it's done, it will prompt you to sign in with your Samsung account. You can either sign in or skip. So I'll just skip because I can do that later. And then you have to agree to Samsung end user license agreement, Samsung privacy policy, or you can agree to all if you want to, and then tap on continue. And then it's going to give you a prompt telling you to allow Galaxy Watch 6 manager to access your watch. Of course, tap on allow, and then tap on allow again. And then of course you have the Google terms of service. You read and agree. And then it's going to ask if you want to be getting updates automatically or manually. So I'll choose get automatic updates. Once it's done getting ready, it will ask you to sign in with one of your Google accounts that are already signed in on the phone. So you can choose to sign in or just skip that, but I'll choose to sign in. So I'll tap on that and then tap on next. It's going to ask me to verify by unlocking my phone and I'll do just that. And now it's signing me in to my Google account on the watch.
Next, it's going to ask me to select apps for your watch. These ones are going to be installed automatically, but of course I can go ahead and choose the ones I don't want and, and add the ones I want. There are also some recommended apps which you can install, but I'll do all that later. So I'll just uh, skip this or tap on continue, depending on what you want, of course. And then you can choose automatic backup, tap on next, Samsung switch. Do you want to transfer your data which is apps, images, and videos, and accounts to your new phone or tablet. Since I'm not transferring anything, I'll just tap on close up, and then you can set your watch preferences, your preferred wrist, and your preferred button position, and then tap on next. Choose whether you want always on display to be enabled or not, and then tap on next. Then you have your basic instructions on how to use the phone. So you can just, I mean the watch, so you can just read and tap on next, okay? I'll be making subsequent videos about all these features. So make sure you stay tuned to uh, learn more about your Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. Anyway, it's gonna take you to this page where it's now finishing up this setup process. So just be patient and wait. Once it's done, it will let you know that you're done. It says you're all set and the watch app is there and you can now press that and it's going to start in a few moments. When it's done starting, it will ask you to either take a tour of your watch or skip. I'll choose skip and there you go. So there is the Galaxy Watch 6 Classic and that's basically how to set it up for the first time. Thanks for watching, leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.